At the Henry B. Tippy College of Business, our core mission is to be an engine for transformation. The most important thing we can do is to transform the lives of our students. Catherine Knight grew up in Webster City, Iowa and discovered the Emmett Vaughn Institute for Risk Management and Insurance. I've always had strong skills in math, so I knew finance was a good route for me. Also, as business majors, we all have to take core classes that introduce us to certain subjects and the Intro to Finance class, as well as the Intro to Management class, sparked my interest for both the majors. The Certificate in Risk Management and Insurance through the Vaughn Institute interested me because I have both a brother and a cousin in the insurance industry. It also is a very good fit with the Finance and Management majors, and I've only had to take a few additional courses, and I am still able to graduate in four years. I financed my college education through a combination of student loans, a part-time job, and scholarships. What means the most to me is the scholarships. Throughout my four years at Tippy, I've had at least one business scholarship each year. I'm very grateful for these donors to allow us to have an opportunity for a great education. No matter how big or small, each scholarship matters in that that's a few less hours I have to work at my part-time job and a few more hours that I can put into my education. Jared Garfield and his partner turned a class assignment into a startup company thanks to the support they received through the John Papa John Entrepreneurial Center. My current business partner, John Slump, who is also a Tippy graduate as well, uh, we were in the same class together, which was the Entrepreneurship New Business Formations class. And at the time, we were given the assignment to identify an opportunity, write a plan. John and myself had both been uh, privy to having cancer-related issues within our own families, and we found a strong passion there. So we started to work on a plan to identify some of these health risks that these healthcare workers were facing while they were preparing and administering chemotherapy. Corvina Medical has developed an innovative technology for handling chemotherapy and other hazardous drugs. We have small disposable plastic adapters that allow the healthcare worker to easily and safely prepare and administer the dose without presenting themselves with the risk of exposure. The Bedell Entrepreneurial Learning Laboratory is a phenomenal resource that the university has. It houses up to 17 offices currently, or 17 businesses, if you will. It was a great resource for us because it was free office space. It legitimized the business. When we incorporated in February 2008, it gave us the ability to have an office with a phone, with, with um, a physical mailing address, and allowed us to actually conduct meetings. We had a conference room, and at a zero-cost rent, it made it very uh, practical for us at the time. And ultimately, we grew out of the bell and into the research park at the Technology Innovation Center. We've had great support from the University of Iowa and the surrounding community, specifically with the John Pop John Entrepreneur Entrepreneurial Center and the Tippy College of Business. The faculty have been outstanding. The teachers have really provided us with good experiential learning, really teaching us how to apply what we've learned in the classroom to what we're trying to do in our business today, both in our planning and in our strategic visions. Tippy Professor Dan Collins is highly respected in the world of accounting and understands the need to attract and retain research productive faculty. One of the difficult things for people outside the college to understand is, is how having research active faculty improves the educational experience of the students. If you can explain uh, research findings that shows how, for example, off-balance sheet financing or off-balance sheet debt can affect the valuation of securities, uh, you can make things much more real. Without the outside support, some of the faculty we have probably would be attracted to go elsewhere and with that outside support we're able to provide research active faculty, we're able to retain them and they're able to continue to do their research. Uh, many times our, our reputation outside of, uh, of the state is dependent on how other educators view us and our um, knowledge creation and it's based upon uh, having research active faculty that can publish in the very best academic journals in the various disciplines and I, I think we have this here at Iowa and we have it because of the generosity of our alumni. Having the Henry B. Tippy Research Professorship has allowed me to stay at Iowa and over the last several years I've had the opportunity to travel all over the world really to help share my research with students uh, at other institutions. And uh, I think this is valuable to uh, actually uh, carry the tippy torch, if you will, to other parts of the world and to show them that we're at the cutting edge of research here at Iowa and uh, to, to, to really uh, distribute our knowledge uh, worldwide and to come back from those experiences and share that with our own students. The Tippy College would not be where it is today without the loyalty and support of its alumni. Alumni like Michael Franz understand that it takes considerable resources to run a business school and to launch new programs and initiatives. As an alum, I feel like 
it gives me a great opportunity to give back to a school that I don't think I can ever repay in terms of what has been given to me. I think other alums should support Tippy because they've gotten so much from the school. I, I see people all across the country in my travels and business and pleasure and run into people that are extraordinarily successful at all levels of business and I, I think that they, uh, they all understand that they got their baseline business acumen from the school. It's, uh, it's extraordinarily important to get all these uh, very influential alumni engaged. We should all be very, very excited about the opportunities and the potential growth of the Tippy Business School over the next 10 years and beyond. The vision that Dean Gardial is going to present over the course of the next 10 years is just going to be terrific. She really understands how to work with people, smart people, to get together to create a vision that's going to incorporate the best things of the University of Iowa. She doesn't want to be adequate. She doesn't want to be a follower. She wants to be a leader. And to be a leader, we're going to need significant private funding. Dean Sarah Gardial has been leading the college in a strategic planning process that will position us for great things in the future. But to succeed, we will need your help. The stories that you've just heard of student excellence, faculty excellence, and alumni engagement are stories that we can tell because of the support we've had from you in the past. And we also know that we will need to continue that support as we move into a challenging future. As we look at these challenges ahead, we know that we're going to need continued funding to pursue excellence in four areas. The first is student scholarships attracting the right kind of students, the bright students, the students that need financial help to be here in our college is something that will be a first priority for us. Secondly, faculty support. We have to recruit for nationally ranked, nationally recognized faculty who are not only the leading scholars in their field, but are excellent in the classroom. Program support is the third area. If you look at our points of pride and excellence in the college, you have to look at the Entrepreneurship Center the Vaughn Institute for Risk Management and Insurance, the Hawkinson Institute. These are the areas of the college where we actually connect our students with industry, with alums, with professional development that put that polish on, that allow them to be successful in their careers, in their internships, and in their full-time jobs. And finally, we know that there are su surprises coming up for us, that we're going to need some programs that do not exist today. The Tippy Excellence Fund is going to be very important to provide the resources to allow us to pursue those future opportunities. I want to say that some things aren't going to change here. We know that we're going to continue our goal of transforming the lives of our students so that they in turn can transform the businesses and the business world that they will be leading in the next generation. We know that we need you. We need the entire Tippy community pulling together to achieve the future that we're imagining for ourselves. So I want to thank you for your continued engagement and support of our college.